Alright guys, today I have something beautiful for you. It's beautiful. It's like Christmas time. It is Christmas in July. If you are a nerd like me and you love school supplies, then this is your thing. You're gonna like it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So, if you're new here and you don't know, I am Chelsea and I am a homeschooling mama to five kiddos. R ages range from about to be four up to 12. And yeah, we go through a whole lot of school supplies during the full year. Fall, winter, spring, summer, all the things. And I just so happen to have a very lovely aunt, thank you Aunt Debbie, hi, who every year for the last few years, quite a few of them, has come and brought us a whole lot of school supplies. I mean, she shops and she shops like it's Christmas, I'm not kidding, and it feels like Christmas when she brings it over. We just go through it and we have a heyday. And I thought this year I would show you all the goodies because it's just fun. So if you're like me, you can pretend that you smell that new book, new pencil smell, and it's lovely. So, let's get to it. Okay, here is the overview of all of the wonderfulness of it. Now, my kids have gone through and picked out some of the things already. Um, so like over here, they've already come through and each of them picked out quite a few notebooks. So most of the design ones are gone, but you'll get the gist of everything. And I mean, she just goes all out. She even has like a field trip snack box here because yeah, she's just awesome like that. So we'll just start right here. We have a whole lot of spiral notebooks. You see this? And my kids have already gone through and picked out like five, at least my two big girls have picked out five a piece. Um, so we have a whole lot of those and uh, we homeschool in a way where we use these a whole lot. We use them so we don't write in certain workbooks. We use them when we do unit studies. We use them for math practice. We use them for book reports, for journaling. We go through these really quick um, and we save a lot of them because a lot of them have papers that we like to keep. So we have all of this plus what my kids have already taken, and then all of these composition notebooks, which are really fun for little, um, to make little books with. So we have all of that goodness there. And then she got quite a few. These are the three that I, I said, I need some to show in my haul, you guys. You can't take them all. And I'm gonna have to ask her where she got these. I don't know. Some of this stuff is from Staples. Some I can tell is from Target. Some is from Dollar Tree, just all kinds of places. So. I don't know where she got these, but I need to ask her because they're so cute. Things that make life sweet, doodle it, today I thought about, dreams and goals, yummy, tasty, sweet, leave a little sprinkle, and it just has random thoughts. Things that make me laugh a whole lot. Uh, donut worry, be happy. That's funny because it's donuts. So they just, and all of them have different little and then they have blank pages, but different little fun things. I smile today because, and we just all thought those were adorable. I might even keep one for myself. They're so cute. And then just these little bitty composite ones. And of course, my little girls thought those were just the coolest things ever. I already said those. And then she found these, and these are from Target. And they are just little blank books. She got a black set and a white set. And I thought this will be so fun for when the kids are learning about a certain topic and they want to do like an end presentation, they can make their own little book about it with drawings and facts. Um, and also we can just make fun stories, poems, just all kinds of things in here with pictures. And I thought that was so cool. So she got a black set and a white set. So we got that. Let's see if I can get in into here. Here is a whole bunch of um, little stickers so you can decorate your notebooks. And I think it says wipe off. So I don't know. I think maybe you could write on there with some erase, dry erase maybe. I don't know. I just realized it said that, but I thought those were so cute so that even when the kids get a blank notebook, they can decorate them or maybe they can even decorate their books, but that's fun. And then a whole lot of sheet protectors, which is really good for those special drawings or special pages that you just don't want messed up. And then dividers which we will use. We already have a whole lot of binders. I told her, don't worry about binders, I got plenty. Um, but yeah, those are handy for separating subjects and binders. 
And then these are always fun because you can put all kinds of different sheets in here. You could even do chore charts or you could do school schedule and they could check it off. It just came with one to practice shapes, so that'll be fun. But And you can just make your own, get a piece of copy paper, stick it in here. You could have them practice their name, their address, your phone number, all kinds of things. Just slip it inside. Um, so yeah, she got one for each of the kids. That'll be fun. Even the big girls, I'm sure, could do some kind of copy work with that or just something fun. And then a whole bunch of um, a pile of notebooks here that can hold paper and we use these often for unit studies also. And then they can slip little things in here and put their papers in there. We've even actually used dividers in there before for different unit studies. I got two things of copy paper for all kinds of things, right? Kids love to draw on copy paper and I can use it for this. Got one pack of grid paper. That'll be so fun. I've been wanting some of this and I keep forgetting to pick it up. And then a whole bunch of just um, paper, filler paper for the notebooks. So that'll be good. And this is gonna last a long time. I love it. Um, we actually got two packs of these and Aria opened up one and she is off playing. So I'm gonna have to try to get those back. But they're just little erasers, cute and fun for kids to have a fun time during school right there. All right, she got each one of the kids a scribble pad, it says. So that's good. I like to use these during read aloud times, but I actually thought about making these our nature journals for this year because you have so much room to draw without any lines, but then you can still write things if you want. So I think I'm gonna save those for nature journaling. And then, oh, my kids are gonna be in art heaven. They really needed some construction paper. So we have two giant pads and these even come with a stencil, a stencil sheet, each one of them. So that's what this is. But yeah, two giant pads for all the art projects their hearts can handle. And then let's see, two of these, just plain but huge. And then a, a pile here of more construction paper. So uh, Natalie especially. Right Natalie? She's sitting over there. She's very happy about this. She loves making things and helping the little girls make things out of construction paper. And then we got three of these dry erase, nope, four, one, two, three, four of these. And I just bought three, so only my two big girls need one, so I'll put the other three away. But these are just fun for um, when you're trying to work out a math problem. You can just erase it, keep going, you don't have to waste paper. Practicing math facts, practicing writing, and then doodling, because who doesn't love to doodle? And then also uh, one of these dry erase boards Got a little, what, alpaca, I guess? I thought it was a llama. Maybe it's an alpaca. And then it has reds on the back. So that is so fun. All right, she also brought more just fun stuff. Like these are a whole bunch of coloring books. She brought card games and movies and books and just all kinds of stuff. And I'm just trying to keep this mostly school supply. But this kind of counts as school supply because for my little ones, this helps them feel, especially Aria, like she has more school books than I actually intend to buy and Violet will have fun coloring, especially during read aloud time, and Liam too. And of course, if my big girls want to color, they are more than welcome. I think someone already ran off with the Lion King coloring book, but yeah, she got a whole bunch of those fun things. And then she got one pair of big scissors, and I think Lissa ran off with those already. Put them in her, she didn't run, she did not run with scissors. I mean, she took them off and put them in a pencil book, um, case. So anyway, a whole bunch of these little kid scissors. I only, I was down to one last pair. So woohoo, I will have a whole lot now. All right, we got two of these three hole punch slash ruler combinations to stick in binders or you can just use them without the binder. And then two just regular rulers and four out of my five kids need rulers for school this year. Lots of ruler work. Oh look, here's that open pack. I just found it. So that's handy. All right, little binder clips. This will help them, especially my big girls, keep their pages and some of the work they're gonna be doing this year, so that'll be handy. A whole lot of erasers. There's actually more than this, especially of these big ones, but my kids all already claimed them and took them off. There was a pack of scented erasers. How fun is that? And then just, oh, there's another scented one. A whole bunch of other ones. And I feel like I used to never buy these, but lately, Erasers are not staying on. I don't know what the deal is. So this will be handy and we have a few My bad and I think uh, what is it? Uh, that you got for big mistakes. big mistakes. Yeah, this is Natalie for big mistakes. So that is cute and then two of these dry erase board erasers 
A whole pile here of glue sticks. Huge glue sticks. Small glue sticks. You can tell she just like goes everywhere here. Just a whole pile of them, which is good because we go through those like candy. Got two regular bottles of glue and a huge one back here. And then look at this. This is genius. She got a little, you know, cone. And then she got this and she, to put the glue in, like a little ketchup bottle. And then you can squeeze it. How handy is that? It's just like genius right there. All right, we got some lots of highlighters. I love highlighters. They make me happy. Um, markers, markers, markers. I know some were scented somewhere. Maybe that's, no, I don't know. I don't know, but I saw some scented ones somewhere. And then colored pencils. We use those a lot in our map work in Story of the World. So we have scented, regular, big packs, small packs, all the packs, two big old brand new cases of crayons. Let's go back down here so I can reach a whole lot of pencils. You guys know pencils disappear. They just like, I don't know, disintegrate and go nowhere. But yeah, lots of cute, cute pencils. I thought these were funny. It's fractions and the more you sharpen them, the smaller the fraction gets. So you only have one eighth of the pencil by the time you get done. I thought that was hilarious. These I Love Pizza, just a lot of cute, fun. I feel like fun pencils make the work funner. I don't know, more fun, I don't know. These she thought would be really good for the little kids. They're like the triangle ones, and these are actually mechanical, which I didn't realize till I was putting them on the table. That'll be fun. I love this brand of pencil. I have a case of these. Um, Liam used to use them a lot, and then he's kind of graduated, but for my little ones, that might be handy. And it's just a really good brand of pencils. The erasers work well, they don't break. I like these. All right, we had a whole lot of scented pens. Most of them got taken off, but just some more pens here. Pins here. Oh, this was cool. This is a um, pencil sharpener, but this tip is an eraser. I just thought that was handy for my big girls. When they are working in their room and they need to sharpen their pencil, they can just do it right there instead of coming out to the electric one. And they also have an eraser, so I thought that was neat. More sharpeners, more sharpeners, pencil grips, and a whole lot of more pens. We will not be short of pens. And then all of these dry erase. So these are perfect for the little boards. They have the erasers, but I mean just, I won't need dry erase markers the whole rest of the year. I mean, hello, I like these. These are cute. They have the eraser on the tip and they're two colors. So that is fun. This is some of the fun card games and goodies that she got. And then over here, she said, this is my special mom box. At first I thought she brought me coffee, which hey, that is fine and dandy by me. But no, it's filled up with goodies that she wanted me to have because she knew the kids would kind of go through them. Um, so this is my mom, homeschool mom love package, we'll say. So we got some magnetic bag clips. And there's things like, um, I can't even think of the word batteries. <laughs> Lots of batteries in there. Look at this hole punch and stapler set and a staple remover. Things that we all need like this. I love these things for bookmarks and just remembering where I was and where I am in planners and all that stuff. And then a whole lot more of just sticky notes which are great to write a note on real quick, stick somewhere. A whole lot of stickers, I mean. And I was just telling Violet the other day, she did so good on one of her papers, and the only stickers that I could find were for my planner. So I'm very happy with all these stickers, and Violet will be too. It gives her a new incentive. She goes, oh wow, I can't wait to get a sticker on my paper. So lots and lots and lots and, and lots. Just all the stickers that you could ever want in your life, they're in this box. More of these. More stickers, you see. And then, you guys, there's even Scentsies in here. And, like, I love all the flavors. There's, or not flavors, scents. No place like home. Oh, I wonder what that smells like. All kinds more batteries, paper clips. So it's just like a homeschool mom care package, tape. And, anywho, I just thought that was super sweet of her to think of more like teacher supplies than just student supplies. So I'm excited. It just makes my homeschool and heart happy. And then, like I said, she even said, I got a box of snacks for field trips. And so we will see if I can keep the kids out of this for field trips. But we got two of these big bags of all the chips. 
And if you're a big family, you know that can go very fast. But then she just has a bunch of little goodies that I thought would be fun if I can keep them in here as um, field trip snacks or maybe incentives like with this gum. Incentives for little guys like, hey, do you really good on your math? You get a piece of gum. There's ring pops. And it's just a bunch of fun field trip goodies that I'm hoping I can actually maybe keep in here. And that way, because sometimes we go on field trips randomly, even road trips randomly, and I have to stop at the store, and this way I won't have to. Now these popsicles will just have to be for home. I need to put those in the freezer. And there's even juices, a couple of these. Oh, I didn't see those. We won't, we won't say these out loud. I have kids in the room, they'll want them. So yeah, lots of good field trip, road trip snacks. So to make sure these supplies don't just get like dragged around the house, lost, or half used, and then they decided they need a new one and get another one, I have kind of dished out what everyone needs for right now, and then I've organized the rest, find that helped me, into little baggies. So this one is the only one that's kind of mixed. It's scissors and highlighters and a dry eraser. But this way, you know, kids aren't saying, oh, I lost my scissor, and they just go and help themselves to another one. They need to look for it, unless we know it's really lost. Then we can open up this bag. The same thing with pins, and I'm hoping this will keep everyone a little bit more accountable and a little bit more responsible with their belongings. I'm trying harder this school year not to just go through it as fast. Um, pencils, and the only thing in here besides pencils are these two sharpeners. Everyone got a sharpener. Um, and we have an electric sharpener, but just to keep in their pencil boxes. This is just erasers, even the fun ones. And like I said, I kept some stuff out. This is just the excess that can go away. All oh, the dry erase. Um, oh, I accidentally put both my erasers up. I need to get one of those out. Anyway, the markers, glue, lots and lots of glue. Markers and colored pencils are in here and then one of the crayon boxes. So these are the things I'm gonna go put away down in the den and cabinets and just pull them out as we need them. All right, you guys, that is it. I have to sit down now. That was, it took me a long time to get it all on the table, and then I feel like it took me a long time to talk about it. Maybe it's because I'm hot and I'm tired, but I'm super excited. Now I get to go and find a home for all these things. I have to go clean out all my um, homeschool cupboards that I have down in our downstairs. Clean it, make it fresh, fill it with new supplies, and it'll be a fun time. I actually love organizing school supplies. So it'll be fun. Yeah. You do too? Yes, I love school supplies. Yes, we all, they take after me. They have their mama's school supply heart. So anyway, we thank you, Aunt Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this very school nerdish haul of ours. Give it a thumbs up. Yes, and subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. We will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.